The special needs candidates will be accorded support to sit for examination arrangements such as sign language interpreters, transcribers and guides. If you look at the Ikenu Dipu, what they advocate for, there shouldn't be school that this is for people with what? That's why you, you find that even when you look at the recent constructions, the, the people insist on ramps, on the rest of it is in inclusive. Because some of these people, this ability that somebody is, you know, is working on a, with a wheelchair doesn't require that he has to be separated. So that's the approach which I think we have discussed with the department which we are going to take. And that's why there are those provisions. Wherever you put up any infrastructure, you must cater for these people with special needs. The Executive Secretary, Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board, Onesma Soyesige, says briefing of coordinators and center supervisors has been concluded. The board commenced the dispatch of all examination materials to designated safe storage facilities today on the 23rd, November 23, across the country and working uh, closely with the, the police force, the one who's very Now, when you go to the detailed registration numbers, uh, you find that for diploma business programs, we have 23,350 candidates. Uh, departmental programs, meteorology, agriculture, wildlife, and fisheries. We have 4,430. As part of ensuring zero tolerance for examination malpractice, pre-inspection of examination centers has been conducted. Now today, the board conducted the briefing, which we are going for after here, of 470 coordinators responsible for ensuring smooth conduct of the first phase of examinations at respective examination centers across the country. The board will also deploy 2,742 practical assessors and verifiers to conduct on the spot practical assessment of candidates. This is aimed at ensuring adherence to board's rules on conduct of examinations. UBTEB commended all heads of centers for putting in place examination task forces at institutional level. Sudat Kaye, UBC News.